In today's video, we're going to break down five of my favorite week one underdog pickums. These will all be lines that will be live for Sunday's action. All of these lines are live on underdog right now. Don't forget underdog is the place to be if you want to get in on additional fantasy football action throughout the entire NFL season. You guys can pair any of the pickums in today's video with a free Dak Prescott over half of a passing yard pick them. If you use promo code, the catch that link is down below in our new two underdog fantasy. You will claim that free pick them right away. And on top of that, you are going to get a 50% deposit match up to $1,000 on underdog fantasy. That's up to $1,000 in bonus cash you can use on underdog fantasy to utilize any of the pick that you see in today's video with that Dak Prescott over half of a passing yard free Pick them once again, promo code the catch. But let's hop right into the players that I think you should be considering as some of the best overall pickums for week one of the NFL season. Next up, I want to talk about James Cook going up against the Arizona Cardinals at home, a bottom five defense against running backs last season, and defense that did not improve throughout the off season as well. So I really like James Cook, whether you want to look at his overall rushing yards or him to just score a rushing or receiving touchdown. I like either line there. Uh, but I think personally, while I do find touchdown lines a little bit more risky at the end of the day, I would rather take this because I still think we might see some involvement from Ray Davis in terms of this run game. Of course, we might also see involvement from Josh Allen as well. So I would take a chance here, go with the touchdown. I mean, it's just such a good opportunity for James Cook. I mean, of course, there is the opportunity for Josh Allen to score a touchdown. But don't forget that underdog also has their vulture protection going on throughout week one of the NFL season as well. So if James Cook is vultured, a touchdown, whether it's Josh Allen or Ray Davis, then James Cook will be protected as long as every other line in your slip hits as well. So I like the chance with James Cook here. I think it's a solid matchup. I will take the chance on him scoring a touchdown over those rushing yards just because, once again, I mean, I think he can easily hit 62 rushing yards total, but at the end of the day, we know Josh Allen can end up vulturing a lot of those yards, which he won't be protected against. So I like James Cook. Too good of a matchup to ignore. I think the Bills come out and put up a lot of offensive points on Sunday. This is a great overall line on underdog moving into week one. Next up is Kenneth Walker, one of my favorite overall running backs in fantasy football going into uh, Sunday's week one matchups. His line has moved up a little bit throughout the week. It's now at 67 and a half rushing yards. But once again, here's a common theme. We're looking at bad defenses, especially against these specific uh, positions. And the Denver Broncos were the third worst team against running backs in fantasy last year. And overall, just one of the worst run defenses in the NFL last year. This is a good home opportunity for the Seahawks. New coaching staff here. This offense is going to look very different this year. I think that Kenneth Walker is going to get a lot of touches in this game. You could also take the rushing or receiving touchdown here. Maybe swap that and put James Cook for over the rushing yards, whatever you like. But I think I'm okay with taking the rushing yards on Kenneth Walker. I think that's a very solid line going into the week. I mean, I just expect the Seahawks in general to have a good day. But I want to look at the run game here because we still got, you know, Pat Sertain probably covering DK Metcalf. Like the opportunities for the wide receivers in this game. But Kenneth Walker, so much positive coach speak throughout the uh, offseason. They're really looking to get Kenneth Walker involved this year. So, I mean, if you wanted to take the over on his rushing and receiving yard total, I think I like that too because we've heard that the coaches want to get him involved in the passing game. But I love Kenneth Walker just taking the over on the rushing yards. I expect a big performance out of him on Sunday. So that's one of my overall favorite lines moving into Sunday's action on underdog. All right, next up, we got Mike Evans going up against the Washington Commanders, a team that allowed the most fantasy points to wide receivers last year, the team that had one of the overall worst secondaries in the entire NFL. Buccaneers are at home. I expect a big day out of Mike Evans. If you want to take the receiving touchdown here, that's fine. But I'm also just okay with taking the receiving yard total here as well. At the end of the day, I just expect a strong offensive performance for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And I do think that the commanders can push back a bit here with that new offense this year, everything that they've got going there. But at the end of the day, 
I just expect the passing game to be absolutely on point for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers going into week one. So if you like Chris Godwin, I think that's fine too. His receiving total is not bad, but I expect just a big day out of Mike Evans. I don't think that the commanders are going to have any solution to slowing him down. So whatever Mike Evans line you like, whether it's to score a touchdown or the receiving yard total, I like both of those. If you want to pivot, go to Chris Godwin. He's got great lines as well. Buccaneers should absolutely light things up through the air in week one. The next wide receiver I want to talk about is Cooper Cup of the Rams. Sunday night football going up against the Lions, one of the worst secondaries in the whole league last year, one of the worst defenses against opposing wide receivers in fantasy last year. Uh, and I'm going with Cup because Puka's got a little bit of a higher uh, total uh, yardage in terms of his line. I think Puka's okay too. I like either guy to score a touchdown, but touchdown line's always a little bit risky. So at the end of the day, Cooper Cup, I mean, just a player who, in terms of like the fantasy community, everyone has raved about all the coach speak, super positive when we look at Cooper Cup throughout the offseason. You know, they want to get him more involved. They want him to be the true wide receiver one again on this team. I don't know if he really will be with Puka there, but at the end of the day, he's still going to get a ton of volume. Matthew Stafford has a ton of trust in Cooper Cup. He's going to be heavily involved uh, in week one's action and throughout the whole season. But at the end of the day, like, even if you are a Puka, Puka believer and Puka's out there. He's healthy. We're not worried about the knee injury, any of that stuff. But at the end of the day, even if Puka is out there, that's a good thing for Cooper Cup because it makes it so much more difficult for opposing defenses to cover both of these guys. And I just don't think that the Lions have done enough in the offseason to have a solution for both Puka and Cooper Cup. I expect this week one Sunday night matchup between both these teams to have a lot of points scored, a lot of fireworks. I like both of the offenses going into this matchup. You got two weak secondaries. Cooper Cup should absolutely feast. I love his line taking the over on the receiving yards heading into week one. All right, last player we're going to talk about is Tua Time of the Miami Dolphins. This is a matchup I've talked about all throughout the entire week leading up to Sunday's action. I just think we're going to see a lot of points scored between the Dolphins and between the Jaguars, two defenses that struggled last year. But this is just one of those games where I think the offenses are going to be in a prime position to put up point. So I don't typically like passing touchdown lines, but I feel pretty good about Tua over one and a half passing touchdowns in this matchup. I, I truly do think this is the quarterback I'm the most confident in going into week one. I, I have talked up this matchup all week long. I, I think the Rams line's really close too. And I do understand that the you know Dolphins have a strong run game, but I just have that feeling that Tua is going to come out strong performance, maybe nothing crazy, but I think two passing touchdowns can definitely happen in this matchup. I expect the Jaguars to push back in this game. I think their offense is going to perform well also. But, I mean, we got Waddle, we got Hill. Both these guys are going to ball against this Jaguars secondary that was pretty kind to opposing wide receivers all season long last year. So I like everything about this matchup. For me, when I'm looking at pick that's the number one thing I look at. Do I like this matchup? How much do I like this matchup? And how many points do I think can be scored? Because that's going to elevate you know, that potential line to actually get hits. So at the end of the day, I love this line. I think that the Dolphins Jaguars, one of the best matchups in week one. Tua is definitely one of the quarterbacks I'm the most confident in going into Sunday's week one action. All right. Like I said, at the beginning of the video, if you are new to underdog, don't forget to use promo code the catch when you sign up. So you can go ahead and take advantage of that free Dak Prescott pick that you can use through all of Sunday's action. That's Dak Prescott over half of a passing yard. You compare that with any of the picks in today's video or take a look on underdog, pair it with any picks that you like going into Sunday's action. And on top of that, as long as you use promo code, the catch to claim that free pick, you will also get a 50% deposit match up to $1,000, up to $1,000 in bonus cash to use on underdog when you use promo code the catch and that'll do it for today's video if you guys are new to the channel all we do here all year long is free fantasy football content we have everything you need in terms of fantasy football for week one in this playlist start sits at every single position running backs wide receivers that are absolutely going to dominate in week one players you should trade for and last minute waiver wire additions everything will be on that playlist for you guys. If you guys have any fantasy football questions, any underdog questions, any pick em questions, any NFL questions, anything leading into Sunday's week one matchups, drop them down below. I will get back to every single comment on this video. And with that, I will say thank you guys so much for watching and or listening. And remember, you saw it here on The Catch.